was working at one of my apiaries today and this swarm just showed up from nowhere. Well, from somewhere obviously, but not from one of my hives. Um, I've no idea where they're from, but they just turned up. Um, there was a, a loud noise, a growing noise uh, from over the hedge and the swarm just showed up and it seems to be wanting to move into this little bait box which I put here, which is actually a flower pot, okay? Um, this was an experiment, which is <laughs> sort of proving itself uh, to be um, a worthwhile one. Uh, it's a large uh, black plastic flower pot, and what I've done is made a, I've cut a square out of the floor of it and put a, a piece of mesh in there so that it can breathe, because the, otherwise, obviously, black plastic is gonna cook up somewhat. Um, and obviously, again, this is a, a temporary hive um, uh, but what I've done is put if I can just gently move this over a bit you can see I've put um, a whole set of top bars in here so this has got a effectively a solid roof and it just happens to fit um, what's that four eight nine is that two four six eight ten it happens to fit ten top bars which are an inch and a half a piece uh, 38 millimeters so 380 millimeters uh, must be roughly the distance across the top there. Um, you can buy these flower pots for not very much money. I think it was like three or four quid or something from a local um, nursery. And they make very good, very cheap uh, swarm bait boxes. Um, I think I've put a couple of drops of um, lemongrass oil and, and uh, geranium oil in there. Uh, a couple of weeks ago just as a, a little enticement and there's actually a piece of old comb lying on the floor in there as well which may have been at least it or even more of, a, of an encouragement to the bees so they've obviously been scouting it out for a while because they seem to be uh, moving into it fairly steadily the entrance is somewhere here if I show you with my finger if I just move the bees aside for a minute you can see there's a there's a hole there where my finger is and um, the bees seem to be making their way into it now it's not a done deal just yet because there's a lot of bees also on this box here which is actually the um, it's the box for my Morris board for the Langstroth size Morris board and there's bees kind of all over that they shouldn't be able to find a way into it however um, there aren't actually any frames in there at the moment so I don't really want them to find a way into it and Right now they seem pretty keen to get into this flower pot, which is great because I want to have uh, a few more top bar hives in operation anyway. And so this is an opportunity to get bees building comb on top bars of their own volition, which is always nice. They are quite a uniform color and they look a lot like buckfast bees to me, or, or something very, very much of that. If I can gather a few up, you can see they're quite, um, they're quite docile, or at least, should we say, they're not, they're not defensive. And why would they be? Because they've got nothing to defend at the moment. So I'm just going to shake these off in front of the entrance. As far as I can tell, this is where they've chosen to, to move into. I think probably if the box below had had um, entrance holes, they, they would have just as equally likely have gone in there. So I'm, I'm not claiming any special um, anything special for this box other than the fact that it's a, it's a decent size and it's got top bars and it smells right. So why would they not choose it? Um, also on here I've got my field meter just uh, to continue that little set of experiments I'm just going to put it in the shade slightly so it can be easier to see and you can see that there is some activity there there is definitely quite a lot of um, there, 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 there are hmm, not full-scale deflections but there's definitely quite a significant amount of electric field being measured and you can see right in front of the meter close by the sensor there's bees fanning and uh, you know without wishing to influence its reading particularly I'm just going to kind of nudge that a bit closer to the fanning bees because I suspect that's where the 
electric field is coming from and sure enough it's it's reading shall we say up to that top scale multiplied by 10 so it's up to 100 say volts per meter which is uh, not massive but considering it's bees that are making the field then that's, that's quite significant I think the, the informal experiments I've done so far show that swarming bees seem to create this field much more than bees that are just going about their normal business so there may be something significant in that it may be that the static electricity is acting as a cohesive force on the bees and maybe that's what helps to keep them together as a family while they're going through that swarming process and this is you know I'm, I'm just talking off the top of my head here I really don't know what's going on but that seems like a possibility to me but anyway it's always nice to get bees coming to stay with you of their own accord and uh, that's what these bees have done. They're a large number of them fanning now. They're really very, very convinced that this is going to be home. I'm just going to take another handful and just put them around here by the entrance just to maybe help them along a little. Uh, but also to put more bees in front of my beat meter because I want to see if that makes any difference. And I would say not really. Uh, there's only three bees actually on the front of the meter at the moment. Maybe if I hold it, let's try holding it really close to the bees that are going in the entrance right now. So it's right up against the bees. Oh, interesting. So, I, I would say not significantly different there compared to what was going on before. Now I'm going to take it round here and put it close to bees that are fanning. Oh yes, well, okay, full-scale deflections. So there's something about fanning, I would say, that's significantly, as you can see, massive difference there. Fanning bees are the ones that really create the electric field and maybe that's part of their job, you know, maybe maybe fanning isn't all about fanning pheromones into the air. Maybe part of it at least is about that electric field. As you can see, really, really quite strong measurements there. Full scale deflection on this is thousand volts per meter which sounds enormous but remember that's not a thousand volts direct current or anything. It, 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 this is measuring static electricity fields but very very significant readings I would say so um, do make comments on this video if you uh, have a theory about what's going on here Your guess is as good as mine and possibly quite possibly better. You're seeing static electricity fields generated by fanning bees. part of the swarming process.